What do you think the future of the internet looks like? You know, I think it's impossible to really predict what the internet's going to look like in 10 years. Uh, after all, if you think back 10 years ago, could you have predicted exactly where we are today? I think that's, that's tough for all the uses of the internet. But I can tell you what the trends are and the major changing forces are in the internet. Uh, mobile is, is taking over the internet. Uh, already there's more devices online than there are people. And the ratio of connected devices to people is expected to grow dramatically through the rest of this decade. Uh, we're living in a hyper-connected world where everything and everyone that can be connected is getting connected to the internet. Uh, people want access to media, uh, enterprise applications, commerce applications, uh, and they want it on the device wherever they are, anywhere in the world, uh, anytime, any, any place. And it's got to be good quality. Uh, so I think mobile, in fact, you know, most users of the internet before too long will be mobile and will have never connected to the internet with a LAN device. And that's particularly true in Asia where entire countries are getting connected and getting online uh, through mobile devices. Uh, the cloud is uh, broadly construed, a very important develop in the development in the internet. Enterprises are moving their infrastructure into the cloud, and that means they're taking their enterprise applications, putting them in cloud data centers, uh, and the applications are becoming available software as a service in the cloud. And that's changing, really, the way that enterprises work, and the whole notion of an enterprise network is evolving. And I think our cloud is really evolving into a hybrid cloud. You know, it includes the old private network for the enterprise, uh, includes the public internet, includes SaaS, and it all becomes one interconnected infrastructure. Um, media is moving online in a big way. Uh, you know, it's still small. Only a couple percent of media watching is done over IP, the internet protocol today. Uh, but one can easily imagine in the not too distant future, that percentage could be 10 or 20 percent. And ultimately, a decade from now, will it be the large majority? Quite possibly. You know, as we sit here and talk, uh, right now we're about to have the Olympics in London open. And, you know, we're provisioning to deliver that over the Internet to over a billion people globally, which is uh, pretty amazing. Security is a huge challenge, I think, for the Internet. Uh, you know, traditionally there were always glory seekers and hackers that would take down a website just so they could brag about it to their, their hacker friends. That still exists, but it's, it's no longer the majority of attacks. Now you have political hacktivism, uh, large or loosely connected organizations of people with political causes that will take down websites through large volume attacks, uh, corrupt the content on the site to cause embarrassment, steal personal information for, for whatever reason. You also have cyber crime, organized crime uh, that does cyber extortion is a very profitable endeavor where you'll they will DOS a website that's trying to do banking or commerce and say if you want to get back online you gotta put money in this offshore account. Uh, you have state sponsored uh, cyber activities uh, either to steal corporate information, intellectual property or to test the defenses that are there in the case of a future cyber war or to plant viruses uh, to support a future cyber war. So security is a, is a huge issue and you just look at all the headlines from major enterprises suffering from major attacks in the last year. Corruption of content, loss of key data, private data or corporate data, uh, state sponsored activities and it's pretty scary. Uh, so I think that's a, a great challenge area for the future of the internet to really deliver on its potential. We got to make it be secure. Thank you.